Hello. In this video, I'll be demonstrating Nubeva TLS Decrypts integration with Amazon VPC traffic mirroring. Let's get started. First, let's review the components of the Nubeva TLS Decrypt solution. There are four components. First, the source workload will have a Docker-based Nubeva key discovery agent. This agent extracts the session keys from the source and sends them to the second component, Nubeva's symmetric key database. This key database uses Amazon DynamoDB running in your account. Your keys never leave your possession. DynamoDB delivers single-digit millisecond performance at any scale. It has built-in security, including encryption in REST and encryption in transit. The third component is the Nubeva Decryptor agent. This agent is also Docker-based, and it is installed directly on the tool. As SSL traffic is received at the tool, the agent will retrieve the appropriate session key from the key database, decrypt the traffic, then send both the original packet as well as the decrypted session to the tool. Remember, there are many ways to replicate traffic to your tool. You could use any cloud provider mirrors or taps, a third-party packet broker, or any pa packet rec replication or capture mechanism. The last component of the Nubeva TLS Decrypt solution is Nubeva's management console, located at www.nubeva.com. This is where we'll be configuring everything in a second. During this short demo, we will preview how easy it is to set up and configure Nubeva Prism's TLS decryption solution with Amazon VPC traffic mirrors. Let me walk you through what you're going to see in this demonstration. First, from the Nubeva console, we will simply launch a symmetric key database using cloud formation templates. Next, we will install the key discovery agent on cloud sources you wish to extract TLS keys from. We'll also install a key decryptor agent on our tool. For this demonstration, we'll be using Moloch. Moloch is an open source, large scale, full packet capturing and indexing solution. Next, we'll head over to AWS console to configure an AWS VPC traffic mirror for packet capture and distribution to our Moloch tool. Finally, we'll show you the decryption on the monitoring tool itself. For this specific use case, we'll be simulating a threat hunting exercise and show the impact of decrypted visibility. This is the Nubeva TLS decryption console. Here we're able to launch all the configuration components we need to get set up. The first step is creating the symmetric key database repository, which uses Amazon's DynamoDB to hold the TLS session keys. Click on the launcher, then select the region. Pay attention to the output link. That will be really important later. So this will go ahead and bring up the CloudFormation launch screen. Everything's been pre-configured. You could change the stack name to anything you like. However, don't change the base URL or project ID. Those need to remain the same. Finally, click on the IAM custom name warning and create the stack. We'll come back when it's ready. So here we are after the stack installation is completed. Now remember that note about the CloudFormation template output? Go ahead and click on the output tab and then click on that link. This will return you to the Nubeva console and it will update your account with the key database information. So the symmetric key database is ready. Now we need to install the Nubeva agents. These agents are required for TLS key discovery and extraction on the sources and for decryption on the tools. These agents are not replicating traffic that will be configured later using Amazon VPC traffic mirrors. So let's see it in action. To install an agent, click on the catapult. The pop-up will have a Docker container to run on any Linux instance. This command can be automated for larger deployments. Also, a Windows installer is available using the dropdown. These commands install the Nubeva key discovery agent. Simply paste this command on the source where you want to discover the keys. The agent downloads the code and starts extracting keys immediately. Now, let's add the new Beva Decryptor agent to our Moloch packet capture tool. Again, click on the catapult and copy the command. Please note, this is a different Docker container and a different command than the source key discovery agent. Simply paste this command into our tool and it will start downloading. After downloading and installing the container, 
run the command ifconfig. You'll see the Nubeva Decryptor interface, labeled NURX0, is now available in our tool. That's what we'll be capturing from later. With step two complete, we move to step three, AWS VPC traffic mirror configuration. There's nothing else to configure on the Dubeva console, so let's head over to the AWS console and configure a VPC traffic mirror. This traffic mirror will be used to send a copy of all traffic from the source to the Moloch tools. Before we start configuring traffic monitors, we need some information from the EC2 instance console. First, you need to identify the Elastic Network Interface, or ENI, of your tool, which in our case is a Moloch packet capture solution. To see this information quickly, simply click on the interface name in the interface description. This will display the ENI in the top field. Now do the exact same thing for the source of the traffic mirror. Each of these values will be used in different parts of the traffic mirror configuration, so keep them handy. Now let's get started with the configuration. Before we can create a traffic mirror, a traffic mirror target and traffic mirror filter must be created. Let's create the target first. First, let's give it a name and a description if you like. Then next, we're actually going to go ahead and paste in the ENI of the destination target. In this case, my Moloch packet capture solution. And finally, go ahead and create the target. Now as you can see, we have a traffic mirroring target ready to go. This ID will always start with TMT. Next, we're going to create a traffic mirror filter. This filter will make sure all traffic is mirrored to the destination, which is our Moloch tool. Now here we need to create the inbound and outbound rules to match the traffic with what to replicate. Remember, you must create inbound and outbound filters if you want to see both sides of the conversation. We will select all protocols and make sure the CIDR blocks capture everything as well. And then finally, go ahead and create the filter. And here is our newly created filter. The ID for all filters will always start with TMF. Now we're ready for the last step, creating our traffic mirror. Go ahead and click to start the creation workflow. And the very first thing you're going to do is just give your traffic mirroring session a name. Then the next thing you're gonna do is go ahead and select the source, or you could just paste it in to make it a little bit easier. Next, select the traffic mirroring target from the dropdown. Every mirror must also include a session number. Think of this as the priority of the session compared to others on the same source. You can also configure a VXLAN network ID or slice the traffic as needed. The last configuration step is to select the applicable filter and then create the traffic mirroring session. As you can see, this resource will always have the TMS prefix. So that's it. All the agents have been installed and Amazon VPC traffic mirroring has been configured. So let's take a look at the tool and let's start some threat hunting. What can we see out there hidden inside of that TLS traffic? The best way to generate test data is using iCAR. Here we are downloading the TLS encrypted version of iCAR. While this is happening, the source is negotiating a TLS handshake with the server hosting the iCAR file. When the handshake is complete, the Dubeva agent will extract the session key and send it to the key DB. Upon receiving the TLS packet, the Dubeva decryptor will inspect the SSL information, then retrieve the appropriate TLS session keys from the key DB, decrypt the TLS packets, and finally send everything to the tool. On the Moloch Packet Capture tool, we can see the original TLS conversations with iCAR.org on port 443. 
and we also see some very interesting traffic on port 80. All the port 80 traffic shown here is the decrypted version of our HTTPS requests to ICAR. Let's go ahead and download one of these conversations to Wireshark as a PCAP and look even deeper. You can now see the complete unencrypted contents of the request as well as the response from the server. First, you see the initial HTTP request from the source, and there is the accompanying HTTP 200 OK response from the ICAR server which has been decrypted. You can easily see the ICAR pattern. The decrypted or clear text version of the conversation exists only because of Dubeva's TLS decryption. Finally, the only change to the Moloch Packet Capture tool is the addition of the Dubeva decryptor agent, which takes about a minute to install. There's no performance impact on the tool except the additional decrypted traffic. That concludes the demonstration for Nubeva's TLS decrypt integration with Amazon VPC traffic mirroring. Try it for yourself by going to www.nubeva.com.